this place is called uh, Lambavuik, and uh, on the other side of the isthmus in front of me is um, Skalafjörren, which I've shown you a few times. The village ahead of me, of course, is uh, Lampa, and this is Lampa Bay, as I just said before, called Lambavuik in Faroese. There's an interesting story about a shipwreck that happened here on December 31st in 1709. A ship called Norske Løve, or, or uh, the Lion of Norway, sank here. It was owned and operated by the Danish East India Company. Um, they left Copenhagen on the 4th of December, stopped in Shetland, and then set off for Spain, I believe. They didn't get very far because they were hit by lightning on December the 18th. Uh, the next day they decided to cut uh, the main mast, but it brought down the mizzen mast as well, that's the aftmost mast. Um, the same day they were hit by a wave and 14 men died. Eventually they lost the third and final mast as well. On Christmas Day they drifted close by the Scottish island of North Rona, unable to navigate and at the mercy of the sea. Must be an harrowing experience. Miraculously, they drifted right into this bay and ran aground somewhere here. And uh, about a hundred men survived. On the 4th of January, the wreck slid into the deep, killing another one crew. Um, who was on board, I guess, securing valuables or something. There have been many rumors about treasures at the bottom, but none have been found so far that I'm aware of. Local legend has it, this cut was made into the ground to secure ropes into it, holding the wreck on the shore, keeping it from sliding into the deep as it lay on its side here in the bay while the crew carried valuables ashore. There's a very popular ballad about the event called Norske Løve, allegedly composed by one of the crew, and it's still happily chanted around here. Speaking of composition, the status of my songwriting, I've made the vocal melodies for all 14 songs now, and I'm working on the lyrics for the sixth final song. As soon as I'm done with that, um, I will record all vocals and choirs and finally solos. I actually wanted to release the uh, half-hour interview I made with uh, Bjartne Mikkelsen, Master of Arts in Resource Biology, but uh, transcribing the English subtitles is taking quite some time, and I'm not done with it. I hope to release it within a in a week from now. <coughs> One other reason that my work, the studio and YouTube, has been delayed recently is that my father passed away about two weeks ago. He was 80 years old and um, there were complications with surgery on his stomach. What else happened lately is I signed up for this Vero thing. I'm not convinced by the hype. It seems to me like most people, including me, are just signing up and then waiting for something to happen and the result is that nothing really happens. So far it seems like a desolate wasteland of a social media netscape. I'm not sure about it. So I ran the survey on my Facebook page about a crowdfunder uh, for the next Hellyaria album, where 87% said they would buy the album, even knowing there could be up to a year from they pay and until they receive it. A few people commented it would depend on the direction of the music. And uh, I can say it will be similar to the first Hellerea album. Um, I want to use orchestrations this time, and maybe not all lyrics in fairies, because uh, I hope to get some guest vocalists on the album, uh, not all of them fairies. I have nine songs that I intend to put on that, that album, three of them completely finished, and six of them still need some work. But I'm very pleased with what I have so far. Incidentally, the jingle you hear for this video is part of a song for the next Hellerea album. In any case, 87%, that's very encouraging, I must say. I have been undecided whether or not to continue Hellerea or 
if I should make the next solo album under my name, simply Herre. But I've decided, well advised by close friends, to continue the project Hellerea. Uh, it won't make much difference to the music. Uh, the rationale is more about using an already existing brand. If you want to support me in my efforts here on YouTube or in the music business, uh, you can buy my solo album Hellarea by going to paypal.me slash herreuansen. And no matter where you are in the world, just transfer 27 euros, select your shipping address and write Hellarea CD in the note. I will dedicate the album and I will include a guitar pick. Um, if the autograph is not for you, then please write in the note for whom it is. I want to thank my patrons, Tiwas Press, a book publishing startup, and Metal Dave for supporting me on Patreon. And further, I want to thank Jay Costello, Michael Lewandowski, and Benny Olson. Patreon allows you to support by a fixed amount per video and a maximum per month if you want. I have a fair few patrons already, but not to any extent where I can buy quality production for my videos. So please take a look at patreon.com slash herreuansen and see if you can contribute anywhere from $5 per video. So thank you very much for your time and see you soon.